Thank you. Only on News 5 at 430, we're taking you on the road for our latest adventure with meteorologist Alan Rose. And we find him live this afternoon in Woodland Park, walking the halls of the Dinosaur Resource Center. And Alan, what do you have behind you there? Well, Allison, this guy behind me is known as Pete the Third. He's a dinosaur called a Despletosaurus. He's around 35 feet long, and that is a juvenile ceratopsian in his mouth. Now, all of these amazing displays can be found here at the museum. Check it out. Home to an impressive collection of dinosaurs, prehistoric marine reptiles, and fish from North America's late Cretaceous period is the Rocky Mountain Dinosaur Resource Center. Floor Supervisor Eric Goderis takes us on a tour to uncover some of the coolest findings. We begin in the prehistoric ocean exhibit. Here we're surrounded by ferocious fish and marine reptiles large enough to swallow a person. Some displays are downright scary, others enchanting, but thanks to Goderis, all come with some incredible stories. Mildred is the largest Zephactinus ever found. Dug up in Kansas, she's 18 and a half feet long. It took three years to put her display together. Up next, in Dino Hall, the museum features dozens of original fossils and replicas like Stan the T-Rex. Although Stan serves as the centerpiece for Dinosaur Hall, that's just scratching the surface. We got pretty much everything covered. Big ones, small ones, whatever you can imagine, we've got probably some sort of an example of it on display here. The museum is also home to the largest commercial paleontology lab in the country. Every summer, Jacob Jett and his team go on digs and bring those bones back to Woodland Park. Jett gives us a behind the scenes tour of the lab so that we can show you some of the incredible work they do. This is like a 25 foot lizard that lived entirely in the ocean. We found it in Kansas two summers ago. Jett's team has been working on this Tylosaurus for about eight months. Our work is on display in about 300 museums around the world. If you see a three-dimensional cast fish skeleton, we built it. We're literally the only people on the planet who are crazy enough to go to that kind of effort. Look at the eye hole right here, the eye socket. Jet and his curator, Anthony Maltese, are incredibly passionate about their work. So what we're looking at is an animal that may have actually shortly survived a Tyrannosaurus attack. A wow moment is when they show us different types of dinosaur fossils like this real-life T-Rex tooth with a serrated edge. It's incredible to touch. The fossil lab is the backbone of the museum, and even though visitors can't access the lab, they can see it through several large windows. You can learn more by taking a free guided tour on your visit, which I highly recommend. As of right now, in the wintertime, tours are on request. Come in, ask for a tour, and we're going to start it right then and there. And I got to tell you guys, the tour is the way to go. It'll take you about 45 minutes to an hour, but you'll learn everything that's going on at the museum. Now, for more information about the Dinosaur Resource Center, you can visit their website. That's rmdrc.com. In Woodland Park, meteorologist Alan Rose, News 5.